The Second Book of Samuel, Chapter 5. Then came all the tribes of Israel to David unto Hebron, and spoke, behold, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. Also in time past, when Saul was king over us, thou was he led out and brought in Israel. And the Lord said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be captain over Israel. So all the elders of Israel came to the king to Hebron, and King David made a league with them in Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel. David was 30 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 40 years. In Hebron he reigned over Judea seven years and six months, and in Jerusalem he reigned 33 years over all Israel and Judah. And the king and his men went to Jerusalem unto the Jebusites, the inhabitants of the land, which spoke unto David, saying, Except thou take away the blind and the lame, thou shalt not come in hither, thinking David cannot come in hither. Nevertheless, David took the stronghold of Zion, the same as the city of David. And David said on that day, Whosoever gets up to the gutter and smites the Jebusites and the lame and the blind, that are hated of David's soul, he shall be chief and captain. Wherefore they said, The blind and the lame shall not come into the house. So David dwelt in the fort and called it the city of David. And David built round about from Milo and inward. And David went on and grew great, and the Lord God of hosts was with him. And Hiram, king of Tyre, sent messengers to David, and cedar trees, and carpenters, and masons, and they built David a house. And David perceived that the Lord had established him king over Israel, and that he had exalted his kingdom for his people Israel's sake. And David took him more concubines and wives out of Jerusalem, after he was come from Hebron, and there were yet sons and daughters born to David. And these be the names of them that were born unto him in Jerusalem, Samaha and Shobab, Nathan and Solomon. Ibahar also, and Elusha, Nepeg, and Japhia, Elishma, Eldea, Elphilat. But when the Philistines heard that they had anointed David king over Israel, all the Philistines came up to seek David, and David heard of it and went down to the hold. The Philistines also came and spread themselves in the valley of Rephaim. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up to the Philistines? Will thou deliver them into mine hand? And the Lord said unto David, Go up, for I will doubtless deliver the Philistines into thy hand. And David came to Baal-perazim, and David smote them there, and said, The Lord has broken forth upon mine enemies before me, as the breach of waters. Therefore he called the name the place Baal-perazim. And there they left their images, and David said, and his men burned them. And the Philistines came up yet again, and spread themselves in the valley of Rephaim. And when David inquired of the Lord, he said, Thou shalt not go up, but fetch a, com fetch a compass behind them, and come upon them over against the mulberry trees. And let it be, when thou hearest the sound of a going in the tops of the mulberry trees, then thou shalt bestir thyself, for then shall the Lord go out before thee to smite the host of the Philistines. And David did so, and the Lord as the Lord commanded him, and he smote the Philistines from Geba until thou come to Gezer. Chapter 6 Again David gathered together all the chosen men of Israel, thirty thousand, and David arose and went with all the people that were with him from Baal to Ju of Judah to bring up thence the ark of God, whose name is called by the name of the Lord of hosts that dwells between the cherubs. And they that set the ark of God upon a new cart, and brought it out of the house of Abinadab, that was in Gibeah, and Uzzah, and Ohio, the sons of Abinadab, drove the new cart. And they brought it out of the house of Abinadab, which was at Gibeah, accompanying the ark of God. And Ohio went before the ark. And David and all the house of Israel played before the Lord on the manner of instruments made of fir wood, even on harps and on palm trees, timbrels, coronets and cymbals. And when they came to Nishon's threshing floor, Uzzah put forth his hand to the ark of God and took hold of it, for the oxen shook it. 
And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and God smote him there for his error, and there he died by the ark of God. And David was displeased because the Lord had made a breach upon Uzzah, and he called the name of this place Perez Uzzah to this day. And David was afraid of the Lord that day and said, How shall the ark of the Lord come to me? So David would not remove the ark of the Lord unto him in the city of David. But David carried it aside into the house of Obed-Edom, the Gittite. And the ark of the Lord continued in the house of Obed-Edom, the Gittite, three months. And the Lord blessed Obed-Edom and all the household. And it was told King David, saying, The Lord has blessed the house of Obed-Edom and now all that pertains unto him. Because the ark of God, so David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obed-Edom into the city of David with gladness. And it was so that when they bore the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, he sacrificed oxen and fatlings. And David danced before the Lord with all his might, and David was girded with linen of ephod. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of a trumpet. And as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Mishael, Saul's daughter, looked through a window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, and she despised him in her heart. And they brought in the ark of the Lord and set it at his place, in the midst of the tabernacle that David had pitched for it. And David offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Lord. And as soon as David had made an end of offering burnt offerings and peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of hosts. And he dwelt among all the people, even among the whole multitude of Israel, as well to the women as men, to every one a cake of bread and a good piece of flesh and a flagon of wine. So all the people departed every one to his house. Then David returned to bless his household. Michael, the son of Saul, came out to meet David and said, How glorious was the king of Israel today, who uncovered himself today in the eyes of the handmaids of his servants, as one of the vain fellows shamelessly uncovers himself. And David said unto Michal, it, is be it was before the Lord which chose me before thy father, and before all his house, to appoint me ruler over the people of the Lord over Israel. Ruler over the people of the Lord over Israel. Therefore I will play before the Lord, and I will yet be more vile than thus, and I will be base in mine own sight. And of the maiden servants which thou hast spoken of, of them shall I have in honor. Therefore Michal, the daughter of Saul, had no child unto the day of her death. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.